The supposedly powerful Russian army, which claimed to overrun Ukraine in three days, was humiliated and stuck in the Ukrainian mud after four months. To make matters worse, Russia was also left without sophisticated weapons that were destroyed during the intervention. That is why Moscow sought drones from Iran to replace its depleted stocks, but received an answer it did not expect. Hossein Amir Abdullahian said that Iran avoids doing anything that might lead to further escalation in Ukraine, such as delivering weapons, as quoted by Polish website on Friday. Iran's top diplomat added, We have military agreements with Russia, but we won't help any of the parties to this conflict. On Monday, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan warned that Iran could provide Russia with up to several hundred drones, including weapons capable, for use as early as July. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov declined to comment on the issue. He also denied that Russian President Vladimir Putin would discuss drone deliveries during his visit to Tehran on July 19. Russian expert political writer Andrei Piantkovsky was quoted as saying that Iran's refusal to supply drones was a slap in the face for Putin. Piantkovsky added that approaching Iran with the request for drones was itself a humiliation for Russia. Meanwhile, U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said that Putin's attempt to establish relations with Iran showed the depth of Russia's isolation and the difficulties it faces in trying to restock armaments. Friday is day 142 of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Every day we get a guy, last week it's six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.